Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Real Talk with Coach Sherry. And I am here with my daughter. She is acting like she's very cold and <laughs> doesn't want to be seen. She's actually anxious to get back home because she has basketball practice early in the morning. But her and I went out to go see Bad Boys for Life movie and we tried the new studio movie grill that they just put up and um, outfitted and built up in our community and it is so nice it is definitely a happening i mean when you walk in they have a full a huge bar a fully stocked huge bar um they have booths around great seating areas televisions on you know so games can be seen and um just a good a good vibe where you can go as for a date out with your girls your kids um a nice group event really a, a a good place to go and just to hang out um we did have our dinner here so when we got to our seats we rang the bell we looked at the menu the menu has a lot of different offerings i mean for the vegetarians the vegans the meat lovers chicken lovers appetizers entrees desserts and like i said um you know alcoholic beverages as well so we had um tortilla chips and salsa for an appetizer and I'm going to also put pictures of what we had experienced inside. Um, I had gotten the flatbread, the vegetarian one. Well, it had all the veggies on it. It was delicious. My daughter got a cheese pizza and we got some chocolate beignets for dessert and it was all really good. The only complaint that I'll have is we came to see a 7 o'clock movie and I was like, are they wanting us to eat first? Because they took our orders and it was, you know, we got almost to our dessert before the movie even started. What time did the movie start, G? What time? The movie started at set, no, what time did the movie start? I don't know. The movie started, she's, look at her, I know. But the movie started about 10 minutes to eight and we paid to see a seven o'clock movie. A few people actually got up and asked for their money back because, you know, if you're coming to see a movie and have dinner, you don't wanna just do dinner and then the movie. I mean, if that was the case, we would have probably eaten someplace else first and then come to see the movie, but it almost defeated the purpose of it being a dinner and a movie kind of situation. But what I really like about this particular studio is they have about 10 theaters inside and they are all most recent movies. Typically when you go to a place that has dinner and a movie, they have the, like, the movies aren't old, old, but they're not newly released movies or movies that you typically would want to see. So I was pleasantly surprised that they have very current movies. And so we saw Bad Boys for Life. If you guys have not seen it, you have to. I enjoyed it. It was funny. It was suspenseful. It was action packed. It had family moments in it. And I really liked how they allowed the characters to mature. And even the women that they were affiliated with matured as well. Nobody was trying to, you know, have this young woman, you know, all the women were beautiful. Everybody looked great. Martin Lawrence was hilarious. His character is always so funny. Will Smith's character was, you know, the same, but just more mature and, it was a must see and I can see another one coming from this, you know, so the sequel will continue. Um, if you haven't seen Bad Boys for Life, I highly recommend it. I would say it is a family movie as well. You could take the kids. I mean, my daughter, she's 17, but um, <laughs> she enjoyed it. It was funny. And like I said, where we went to go see it, the food was great. This is Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you're in Charlotte, there's the Studio Movie Grill and um i highly recommend that you come out and try it out they have um to me the way the you know the service was really good some people were complaining about it but our waitress she did a great job with getting us our food and everything i do have some recommendations however because we were seated a little after seven and like i said the movie didn't start until almost eight um even though we were eating they still should have had some some music or trailers or something. I mean, the screen was blank, it was dimly lit. And 
all you heard was conversations. You know, people were just talking. So um, I asked her, I said, do y'all typically play music or something? I just felt like, you know, there was an element missing. Um, she said, yeah, I don't know what's going on, you know, but um, I think they definitely need that. I think when the waitresses come to take your order, immediately they should give you a napkin because after we got, after our appetizer and when we got our entree, I had to ask a couple of times, you know, can we get some napkins? And so finally we got napkins, but they'll, you know, napkins are always nice to have prior to, but um, neither here nor there because the food was delicious. The movie was great. I enjoyed the company of my daughter. So all in all, it was a wonderful evening out. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And I want to also thank all of my new subscribers to this channel. This has been Real Talk with Coach Sherry. And until we speak again, please stay safe. Thank you.